What's going on, my good camper? Let's burn officials here. Welcome back to uh, this crazy game. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. So, I am recording this next part after I record the previous one. So, we're going to continue into the game. So, we're going to continue into the game. So, last episode was crazy. I don't like it. I don't want to break these headphones. I almost did. But let's continue. Now, Yuri does have a nice little crush on us. So, I don't know. But we're going to stick to me. We're going to stick to me still. So, let's do that. So, we're going to do treasure. Heaven sent. You okay? You can't see it, but Monica was popping up. Can't move my chair much. Okay, Monica like, popped up behind me in the frame, but Monica Monica popped up for some reason. That's odd. I I'm gonna change. We're gonna move me over here so you guys can see what's going on. So, um, we're gonna do. Yeah, just an enemy in there. Heart. Why is it going one one one? Why are you doing that? Uh, charm. Kiss. Pressure on that a little bit. Uh, Destiny, Valentine, Vanilla, Peace, Dream. Again, Onik is popping up for some reason. Milk Scar. Oh, let's do Beauty, Tragedy. Music. Come up there for music. Eh, let's do sparkle. Romance. Was that? That did not look like Monica. That looked like Sayori for a second. Candy. Special. Okay, we're right off the bat. We're right off the bat to craziness. Okay. Hi, Bromeo. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best to you today. Monica! I told you not to. Ugh. She really late again. Inconsiderate, as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? You must always interrupt my conversation with your incessant yelling. What are you talking about? You say like that I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gone to you lately? Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're going we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. So, Natsuki, nobody cares. Why don't you go look for some coins out of the vending machine or something? What the hell? Can we make a... Yeah, that happened. Yep, she would just said that. And she went crying. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Are you practicing piano again? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and start trying to make time for piano. Oh, well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. 
It motivates me to work hard for the festival too. Anyway, Bromeo, what do you want me want to do today? I was thinking we could. We already have plans today. Ah, uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Bromeo's already engaged in another that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I, I suppose. I was just. Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. What was that? The hell? Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. I actually have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thank you very much. If there's anything that can make me read time here any better, it's a nice a cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. I'm sick of water. I'm a tea guy. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as he retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. The kind with the filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to play this in the teacher's desk, and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down at the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To surprise, surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms, especially because of her long legs. Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thank you. I'll be right back. I, I might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Did you leave again? Did you leave you again? No, it's not like that all this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for the misunderstanding. Yikes! Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. That's interesting. That's so weird. In there, it's more loud. In here, it's more quiet. That's odd. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be is the nearest water fountain. Shut her hand down the hallway. <laughs> What's that noise? It's coming from the other end of the corner. It sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale like someone's sucking the air through their teeth. And they're in pain. I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Oh my goodness. Um. Yeah. What? What? Um. Okay. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Romeo, do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to make the tea. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? My ears are hurting now. Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. I'm not a tea guy. Like I said, not a tea guy. <laughs> In that case, you'll, you'll only be even more impressed. Uh, perhaps, uh, perhaps I will. With all the stuff that's going around, it is hard for me to figure out who's talking. <laughs> Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was lighting a show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around, anyway. Ah, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worried about me, Boromeo. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. 
don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch her pour a cup of tea for each of us. Romeo, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh? Why's that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pay fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's mostly likely because of my... Eh, my... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading. I'm hunched over right now. <laughs> I'm hunched over. I'm hunched over no job over here. I'm hunched over like all the time. You know, bad posture. Losing headphones. I have to hunch over because I have to reach my microphone like right here. Yes. I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Bad posture. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieve the book from my bag. Ah. I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it, since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our buyers are even closer to each other. I can't see it too well. Yuri says closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She's wearing her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I used all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Nah, that's... that's okay. I won't take any. Eh? Are you sure? Well... If I touch it, then it might get smudged on the papers. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any hard, harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Then I take another chocolate, and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if... As if in the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop her. Stop here. I personally place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Yeah. Your expression suddenly breaks. Dude. Did, did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Huh. Romeo. Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Huh. Yuri stands and starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't. Romeo. Stanley Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Romeo. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Romeo. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Romeo? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against my chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. What the... It even makes me not want to read. I just want... to look... at you. 
Oh my. I hate you. <laughs> um, it's tension poems. Oh, I'm gonna get a heart attack today. I need my book. My heart can't take it no more, guys. I don't know if I can do this, man. Alright. I did song, so I'm just gonna read this one maybe. Uh, Thomas Carey. Care W. Uh, song. Persuasion to enjoy. If the quick spirits in your eye, no anguished and anon must die. If every sweet and every grace must fly from the forsaken face, then Celia, let us reap our joys, ere time such goodly fruit destroys. Or is that golden fleece must grow forever free from age now? If those bright suns must know no shade, and your fresh beauty, fresh beauties ever fade, then fear not, Celia, to bestow what's still being gathered still must grow, as either time his sickle being brings in vain, or else in vain his wings. Pretty good. I shot that one. Okay. Let's just do it down the line. Natsuki, Yuri, Monica. Hmm. Let's do Yuri first, maybe. Or, I don't know. She's so old. We're just gonna go down the line because we always leave Monica last. So, Natsuki first. This one's alright. Alright. Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's, anyway. I still can't really tell how much you actually care about rating. But either way, you're doing alright. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri. I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. It's rare to keep working hard. I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can't let me down, okay? So, at least read my two for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? read it. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normal like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forced myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, Please try to do something. Maybe you convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, if you see, can please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try some to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thank you. Thanks for reading. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you've just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault, as she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Bromeo? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Oh, 
What? What? Okay. Uh, Yuri. Okay. Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Romeo, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Romeo. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. No, not, re not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you're thinking about me having it. Maybe I should give it a Monica next? Okay, I'll take good care of it. I don't even touch myself for rooting. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I give myself paper cuts on your skin so your skin oils enter my bloodstream. Ah. <laughs> you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. don't want to know what that uh, yellow stain is. I don't know what- I don't want to know what that yellow stain is. I do know that. And that. I'm afraid for kicking out the paper now, so I'm just gonna be ready. Oh. <laughs> do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is actually about. About what? More importantly, I'll endure it in my scent. See ya. Aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? I think I'm going to vomit. Okay. I'm not a big fan of this right now. Romeo, I think you saw something earlier really that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I didn't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? <laughs> she even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of hi kind of high from it. It might be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, it would be probably be best for her. While you're at it, Dofish had to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, I, at least I have it all to get in my head, and I know how to treat my club members. Anyway, I guess we won't worry about your poem. Here, you shouldn't. I've at least had the courtesy of letting you finish sharing it before taking it. Well, whatever. If it makes her happy, I won't stop her. As for mine, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's uh, effective. Here it goes. Jeez. It really startled me. Uh, well, I guess I kind of messed up uh, writing this poem. I was just trying to... Never mind. Let's just move on. Nothing is real. Got it. 
Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparation. Oh, no, Monica, like, advice for the day, you know? Darn. Let's hurry and get this over with. Mm. Snagging air is calm and foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, we can just get this done. I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, you can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Monica. I'm not useless, you know. I n know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Huh? What about Romeo? Romeo's going to help me. Wait, you? You had to ease his job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already more suitable for one person, but my task is la laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you wouldn't. <laughs> like you would fucking now. I'm trying to get this right down to a minimum right now. All you care about is not is bragging bro me around with. Is dragon bowing around with you and your stupid bucks. You and Monica. Hey. I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Romeo decide who to help instead of assuming your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Romeo make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Romeo, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? This is tough. This is tough. I don't know what to do. I don't even know what I picked. <laughs> Yay, you picked me. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking from me for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I don't even give you any work. I didn't give you any work. You decided for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling me away from me every single time you're not including it in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be, be It would be beneficial to your mental health. You're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't so hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that too much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Romeo. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica gets out. Yuri pushes her out the door.
finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Romeo, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow. There really is. Uh, there's really something wrong with me. Isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you as much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you. But if it feels so good, I'm gonna put something up real quick just in case. But if it... Then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? The music is irritating me right now. Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Bromeo. I have to tell you. I'm... I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Bromeo. Just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touched myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside you. That's a big no on my part, thank you. I am not giving you consent to do that to my body. Thank you. I want you to. I want you off to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't this sound perfect? Tell me, Bromeo. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? I don't want to play this game no more. Ah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um. That's all it is. I have her file right here on my second monitor. It's I have, I have a file here that has like characters' names and Sayori's is not in it. So but Yuri's is still it. I have no idea what to do. I'm just gonna skip and just let it run through its course. See if anything will happen. We start the skipping. Pretty much, if we were there. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna skip again. There's nothing. Wait. Wait, what the hell? Wait, what What the hell? I'm just gonna keep skipping and just see what happens or something. Anytime. Are we gonna get more any issues pretty much now? Eyes now dead inside, blood's now dried up. I'm just gonna keep the let just just go through until something happens. I don't know.
Okay. Alright, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me. That was pretty... Uh... Natsuki runs away. I'm here. Romeo, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait. Were you here the entire weekend, Romeo? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize this group was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Her file... Her character disappeared. Natsuki's as well? I... Ju I just saw the file of Natsuki and Yuri disappeared. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica, list the foil from train and take a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really should be making... Shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. What? Can you hear me? Is it working? What the hell? Yeah, there you are. Hi again, Romeo. <laughs> Welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other. Because we were in the same class last year, and, um, <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Romeo. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You don't know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? You do know this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? It doesn't make sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know. Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started a mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah. It's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. Yeah, I can see that from the thing over here. I was hoping it would be enough for me to try to make them unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more time, more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying her obsession personality backfired too. It just made her force you to not spend time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Bromeo? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Bumio. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how long I really am in the world. In this game. 
knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world, wherever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Bromiel. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I got chills reading this right now. I'm sorry if it, it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Bromeo. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how can I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That's all just some game, and I know who knew you would would get over it. So that being said, Bromeo, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. And there's nothing else in this game for me. You're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Bromeo, will you go out with me? I'm curious, is this in the chat or no? Yeah, this is all saying in chats. Hmm, interesting. Huh, there's no no button. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Bromeo. The funny part is, I mean that, literally. <laughs> there's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passed and passing anymore. Yeah, actually, it's currently it's 2.41 in the morning. So time is flying. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Bromeo. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easily it was to delete Natsuki and Yeti. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game dictionary. It's kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well. You're playing a Steam, so it, it was actually a bit more difficult to get the game directory. I had to go into the game's properties and find the browse local file, but I have it right here. <laughs> Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go on my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. And today, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only a way to find out, right? I don't know. I didn't know one thing. It said that if you're recording on OBS, It'll notify the game that you're that you're recording. It's weird, but I think it's because I'm on Streamlabs OBS. I think it doesn't work. So I wanted that type of thing, but too bad. It sucks. But I just want to finish the game. We're just gonna pick random ones. Boom! 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 Done. Yada yada yada. I again, Romeo. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I love to see what you wrote. Let's do that actually. Let's do one last poem, and we're gonna. I'm gonna read a poem that I love from the from all times by my good friend. Where are you at, Shakespeare? This is one of my, uh, sonnet... Uh, 
19, if that's what it says. We're going to read our last poem. And it's going to be one I've already read, I think. So, and it's my personal favorite from William Shakespeare. Sonnet 19. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling bud of May. And summer's lease hath all too short a day. Sometime too hot the eye of heaven shines, and often his, is his gold complexion dimmed. It every fair from fair sometime decline, by chance or nature's changing course, untrimmed. But thy eternal summer shall not fade, nor lost possession of that fair thou art, nor shall death brag thou wanderest in his shade. When in eternal lines to time thou growest, so long as men can breathe, our eyes can see. So long live this, and this gives life to thee. That, ladies and, that, ladies and gentlemen, is our last poem for this day. For this game, it's pretty much we're pretty much probably towards the end of the game right now. Don't be shy. I love to see what you wrote. Ah, uh, Romeo, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There's really, there really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special way. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have always been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character if I prefer playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Romeo? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Here we go. Um, hi, everyone. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friends? It's a little bit rude for them to start recording... It's a little rude of them to rec start recording me without any warning. I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm being pushed, put on the spot now. Let's see, do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple of things. Are you ready? Please, please don't do that to me. I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after that. After all, if you... Uh... <laughs> We're scared the living shit. <laughs> scared the living shit out of me. Fucking hell. After that, her bitch ass is getting deleted. That scared the living hell out of me. <laughs> You're so cute. Anyway, Romeo, I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. 
But anyway, if we take thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we could just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Alright guys. <sighs> Today's the day. We're ending this. Would you ever just meet your friends to me? I don't know why, but I get really excited when I think about you wanting to show off our relationship like that. Maybe because I really want to be someone who makes you proud. I feel like I would try extra hard to improve myself if you told me if you made you proud of me. I hope it's the same thing the other way around too. Guys. We did it. What's happening? Romeo, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Romeo. Please, hurry and help me. Red bite off fire. Monica does not exist. Help me. Did you do this to me, Romeo? Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Romeo. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? You only pretended to be kind just to hurt me even more. I've never thought anyone could do could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Romeo, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. I'm happy. Are you guys happy? Huh? I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends? I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. No, I destroyed you because you scared the living shit out of me. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... made up my mind. Romeo, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. I'm curious. Monica's file is in my recycle bin. I've realized that. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends. So what I could do actually is this with me guys and I love them all well, well okay you did delete um Sayori I do hate you for that one and I love the literature club I really did love the literature club 
That's why I was going. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the best way for everyone to be happy. I have a file of characters, so let's continue. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy, and if I really love you. Then, I kind of want you guys to maybe witness this as well. Hold on. Let's see. Natsuki, Sayuri, and Yuri are back. They're back in the game. And she's not in it. She's not in the game. Technically, she is still in my recycle bin. She is still in my recycle bin. So I could put her back in the game after this. I'm going to do that. After the game, I'm going to put her back in the game and see what it does. So I'm curious. But... A new game, I'm guessing. We're starting new now, so... Sure. It's an ordinary school school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friends group, friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girl for, or something like that. Hey, Bremio. Well, there's already... Well, there already is one girl. The girl Sayori. My neighbor and a good friend since we were children. We used to watch school together every day, and recently we picked up that habit once again. Romeo, are you proud of me? Eh, for what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. You've never even said anything about it. Even though we walked to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. I miss Sayori. I miss her. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near the streets, become increasingly sp speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Bremio, have you decided a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not... I start to say what I'm about to do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time? Wish she started a club of her very own. Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Ooh. You meanie. Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. As I start to realize that in a way I envy her. When Sari put her mind to something, she accomplished great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. The school days in ordinary is over, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I've already recalled to school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah, uh, Romeo? What are you doing here? Well, I just... I glanced around the room. Huh? So you're the Romeo that story we always talked about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Romeo. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Uh, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, named is apparently serious, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison to the girl, Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? Romeo, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club decided to join is your Sayori. The literature club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way. No way! Haha! <laughs> So he wrapped her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, hey. <laughs> well, serious is this happy, and I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become official, officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. 
<laughs> but an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to... Don't shake. Don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desk range to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapping... A wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. She will feel an awkward I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marched back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Tana! What? Natsuki leaves the full after the tray reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The bakers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Wow. Wow, those look amazing. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sorry, I grab one first, then I follow. It's delicious. Sorry talks with her mouth full and already managed to get icing on her face. I turn to the cookie around my finger, looking for the best thing I take a bite. Atsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glance in my my direction. Is she remaining for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. <laughs> well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As the circus struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Eh, I guess. <laughs> I already trying to press our new member, Yuri. Eh, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri finally smells to herself in relief. So, Bromeo, what kind of things do you like to read? <laughs> well, uh, considering how little, how little I've read these past few years, I, re I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. Mono quiet to myself half jokingly, and took her head and suddenly perks up. It looks like she wanted to say something, but she kept quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri chases the rim of her teacup with her finger. Her favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on in clear passion about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes lit up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey Yuri. Huh? Well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga. That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. Don't say that. For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know. So if Romeo wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. He can talk this opportunity. He can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Won't you agree, Romeo? <laughs> Maybe. Since in the ten tension, sorry, jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun, and we'll all get to know each other a little bit better too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? Uh, I don't disagree or anything. Yeah, you're right as usual, President. Yeah. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up an owl or something, huh? Well, that will make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing if it, I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri? Huh? After... I, I have to read manga? Jeez. You were the only one... Hey, you are the one who suggested we diverse... I... You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself, I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If if you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. 
I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. I mean, it makes me happy that you'd do that for me, Yuri. You could trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just, just you? Uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I've always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute. Sorry, sh sorry, shut up. <laughs> oh, somehow that's your president. I'll show you my. I'll show you some manga there too. Okay? Yes. I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri started to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along, isn't it? I think everyone like you too, Romeo. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayuri. Ah, uh, Bromeo, don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. You can kind of make it the best club ever. Now that you join, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Bromeo. I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's, that's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm president now. But I really know everything, Bromeo. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Forever and ever. F fuck. For... Uh... No. Eh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Ooh. It hurts. Sorry, you're still in it. Ah, I'm sorry. I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayuri. Goodbye, Romeo. Goodbye, Literature Club. Wait. Wait. hear me? <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff and not really any good at it yet, like at all, but I wrote you a song and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. All the character files are still here. And I still have Monica's final is still in the recycle bin. Play audio demons into OGG. Special day. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Doki Doki Literature Club. I hope moving image. Oh, it's removing the images. Wait, I'm curious. Is it gonna? Is it deleting from here or now? Wait. 
่ไม่ Things are deleting, but I want to see if I can find the pictures, maybe. Cause if we're friends. What? Translations. Only write better words for those who are dear to me. Is it love? If I take your, is it love? If I set you free? What? Okay, that's interesting. Well, okay. That's pretty much it. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to be horrific, a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo the same hellish empathy. Epiphany. For the time of last, I wanted to thank you for making all my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the club members. And most of all, thank you for being part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Our script file is missing or corrupt. Please reinstall the game. Wait. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do this then. I still have the two files right here. The recycle bin and Monica. I'm curious what happens if we move her back. Let's open up the game. And let's see if anything happens. No, same thing. What? Wow. That, 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 wow. Um. And guys, that is the last, ladies and gentlemen, Montecum Capulets. We finally finished the game. My first ever gameplay in my whole entire career right now. Not career, but my whole entire YouTube life, you know. I finally finished a game that we started. And I don't know how long, 2018, I think, was when we started it. But we finished the game. And I'm gonna get rid of it off my computer because I don't want it no more. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you loved this series. Hope you all enjoyed. Like the video if you loved it. If you liked it, share this wonderful lending. Comment. Subscribe to the channel. Put notifications on, bell notifications on to be part of the crew. To be notified on when I upload. And, uh, yeah. Hope to see you in, a, in another game.